morning, headed to a networking event in Virginia. Um, got me thinking about, I, I usually get coffee before the networking event uh, because when you get to the networking event and you get in the coffee line and you start fiddling with the equal packets and everything else, you, um, you, you get distracted from why you're there, which is to chat with people, mostly. Having said that, I've met some great connections on the coffee line. Um, however, at the end of the coffee line, there are those people who decide to start networking right at the end of the coffee line, uh, sort of Java blocking, I call it, and they, um, they just gum up the works because then everyone's trying to move along and they're just sitting there networking with their silly business card exchanges and they're um, um, chatting and discussing their value proposition and delivering their elevator pitch, <laughs> which are all the things I do. So anyway, uh, the other thing is that uh, I think you should eat before you go to the networking event. There is absolutely, it's, it's, it's absolutely a lose-lose proposition when you eat at a networking event. If you're standing, that's a problem. Obviously, you got the coffee and the food. And if you're sitting down, there's just no elegant way to eat. Um, we're human, you know? The food falls out of the, off the fork. We're trying to cut the sausage and it, you know, it's slippery and it squirts off the plate. So, um, having said that, I intend to partake this morning and damn the torpedoes. So, um, but try and eat first. That way you won't be thinking about food, you won't be hungry, and you can listen to the actual speaker or panel discussion that you came to hear. And you can make, uh, you can make side comments to your, uh, your table mates about what the speaker's saying. One of the funniest things <laughs> that ever happened was at an event where um, a very, very, very long-standing, prominent person in the Washington and actually in the national business community was speaking, and um, he went like this while he was speaking. <laughs> and it was magnified by the fact that there were two gigantic video screens on either side of him. And so... I was I was looking around for someone who who saw it and was willing to acknowledge that they saw it, and the woman next to me said something to the effect of, "Oh my God, remind me not to shake hands with him afterwards." And I I laughed very hard, and she and I actually became friends and, and business associates after that. So um, it was very funny. Anyway, um, wish me good luck going across the river here. I'll keep you posted.